Hello everyone, it's Clay Ramage. It's a wonderful Monday afternoon now. I actually left this morning to go to the bins and just got back. It's about 2.30. So I've been out shopping for quite a long time for me. Usually it's a couple hours and I'm back home and doing stuff. Today it's hmm, close to, well, yeah, it was over five hours I was out. But I found some uh, good things, exciting things for me. Uh, hopefully they'll be exciting to you too. But if, you're, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. And uh, we go through our thrift halls where we go to the Goodwill Outlet store. We go to the thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, all that kind of stuff. And today we went to the outlet stores and a couple of the Goodwill regular stores. Um, and I picked up some stuff. So if you like this kind of content, hit that little bell, which is uh, not the bell. Sorry, the thumbs up. That's the like button. You can hit the subscribe button and the bell button. Then that way you'll get notified of any new videos that I'm putting out there. Whew. All right, slow down. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's a great day. I'm excited. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to start with some of the stuff I got from the thrift stores first before I do the Goodwill outlet um, at the end. So um, one of the things I found was this Stein. I just love the scene on it. Um, and this actually, somebody must have donated a Stein collection because there are a number of them in there. This one still has the paperwork in it. This was a Stein um, made for the Miller Brewing Company. A limited edition. Um, it's third in the series, this particular one. So there's multiple other ones. Obviously, it's not old, but it is collectible. Um, I paid $1.99. What's interesting is this was this one was $1.99, and they had several others. Oh, and this is a Ducks Unlimited edition, too. Um, but they were all much higher prices, so I don't know why they made this one cheaper because I think this was the best one out of all of them they had. So, but I was happy that it was the cheapest one. And then let's see what else. Is there. Oh yeah. Oh, I was gonna look this up. See, I did it again. I just bought something or brought it home. Um, this is uh, hey, yeah. Well, I don't even know what to call it. It's called a super emo friend. Um, from the TV show Stranger Things, which is on Amazon Prime, and my wife and I have watched it, and this is Eleven versus Demagogue, Demogorgon, sorry. So, anyway, I have to look this up to see what it's even worth, but I paid three ninety nine for it, but if it's not worth much, I'll still keep it, because we like Stranger Things. Anyway, oh, I, some days the brain just does not engage fully. All right, this next one I was pretty excited to find. And again, I I paid up for all of this stuff from what I usually do. But this is a Dr. Brewster's Kit, the Ultimate Precision Kaleidoscope. And I paid $4.99 for it. And what it is, is an actual kit where you make your own kaleidoscope. So it's got the wooden cylinder got the brass ends so these are solid brass um, very heavy it's got the lenses and it's got the little beads so this is brand new it's never opened um, never used and it's still got the mirrors inside of here so it's a kit that you can put together yourself and then it's got lots of instructions which are inside of there. So I want to hold all of that. But I looked these up and these actually sell for 50 plus dollars for the box, um, new in the box. So that was a very good deal. I'm excited about that. I'm taking all this tape off. Unfortunately, it didn't damage the box. But so that was one of my exciting finds there. Um, and if you guys know what kaleidoscopes are, you look through the little window and you turn it and it gives you all sorts of different colors. Always an exciting time. Oh, and I did find a pair of suspenders for my friend Jerry. He was looking for suspenders and we needed the kind with the clip on. And I got him a nice bright yellow so that, uh, you know, he'll stand out when he's wearing his suspenders. So Jerry, if you're watching, I got your suspenders. <laughs> all right, so that's what I spent at the one Goodwill store. Uh, except for I did find one other thing. I spent a total of $59 at this store. So that was part of it. But this is the exciting part. Yeah, I got excited about 
some of you guys know I'm excited about furniture. It's one of my passions. And I found this plant stand. And it's the brass ormolu trim, satin wood, and some others. It's probably a, it looks like a pine. Um, and then it's got these beautiful little emblems on the bottom. Now the finish needs some attention to it. And the only issue with the trim is this piece. There's a little nail that would hold it right in the corner. And that nail is missing. But amazingly enough, all the rest of it is in great shape. And uh, so I'm actually going to do a video on how to freshen up the finish on this and make it look great. And then, oh, and I didn't mention that the top is this beautiful marble. It's a gray marble with some pink... Um, coloring in it. It's really beautiful and it's very heavy. So uh, I was excited to find that. I paid $40 for that, $39.99. Um, but that's going to be a great piece. I love that style of furniture that has the brass ormolu trim on it. Um, it's, it's a French style. Came out of France originally back in the 1700s. But anyway, so that was my big exciting expensive find. So that's why we spent $59 at the Goodwill store. Um, and then this is what I got at the Goodwill Outlet store. I found three of these little plates. They're to hang on the wall. And it looks like somebody hung them with something other than that broke off. And then they did it. But these are it's called Sewell Melamine. As we all know, the melamine plates. Well, they also made decorative items. These are all made in England. So this is the street scene, you know, 1800 street scene. Here's another one, and then the third one. So all street scenes of England, um, Victorian era, very nice. And this is the only one that has any, it's got some discoloration on here. I think it's just, looks like metals markings. So I'll see if I can clean that up with like a magic eraser or something. So we'll check into that. Um, I found this beautiful Egyptian mug Love the handle on it, and it's, of course, got the uh, King Tut look on it. It's a souvenir piece, actually, because it's got Egypt written on there. And it's got the uh, information on the bottom. And this guy, um, Fathi Mahmoud, he's uh, actually has a number of pieces like this. He's an Egyptian designer. He's got a lot of pieces. So, uh, but I really liked it. So, again, glassware at the bins that I go to is 49 cents a cup. So paid 49 cents for that. I found another cup. This one is an Odagiri mug. Um, this one has kitties on it. So and it's marked Odagiri Japan. This time on the rim, which is a little unusual. But uh, yeah, it's in great shape, no chips or cracks. So we'll put that one out there. It sells pretty good. I found a little bag of cotton rounds. I use these for silver polish. So those are always helpful and that weighed almost nothing. So I probably didn't even spend a dime for that. And then um, I have this thing going on with some of my friends. I'm buying them um, second place trophies. Um, and so I found a second place trophy because one of them's birthday's coming up. And <laughs> the reason I do that is because I tell them Jesus is always first. So you come in second. And it's okay to come in second to Jesus. So anyway, so that's what this is. But this actually is an older trophy. This is from, it's dated 37. Um, and I don't know necessarily what BPE stands for, but it's probably a brotherhood um, something or other. It's got a big A on it. So, so yeah, it's kind of nice. It's uh, labeled on the body. It was made in Cincinnati, Queen City Silver Company. So it's got a little... But, uh, you know, dingy there. But anyway, that was fun to find that because I've been looking for a while for it. It's hard to find second place trophies. I don't know. You'd think people would be getting rid of second place trophies. Anyway, um, I found this little tape measure. There was a box of, oh, no, it's not opening. Oh, there it goes. A box of um, sewing supplies. So I went through it. Most of it was new stuff, but I did find this old tape measure in there. Um, and I always pick them up just because I keep them in my coat pockets in the wintertime. 
in my desk drawer and around because it seems like you're in one of my car because you always need a tape measure for something, right? And they always seem to disappear. And then I did find a few pieces of jewelry, a couple earrings, and some different pins. I didn't even look to see. I just picked them all up. There's an, oh, it's an Olympic pin. Jostens, it's Calgary, the Canadian Olympics, 1988. Um, that one's Atlanta, 1999. Probably political convention, I would imagine. Oh, Minnesota, yay. Oh, I didn't even see these. There's a couple earrings. Hmm, sweet, leather pearl. And an angel pen, foot pen, and I choose AT&T. I don't know. Anyway, again, I just kind of throw these all in a craft lot. And so there's another earring, dangly one, just one, and just one black and white. But anyway, so not much jewelry today. A little different kind of day. Did find a blingy barrette. Um, so pick that one up and found it, found some brand new floss. There I go, starting my new collection because I just listed all that I had. Um, so, starting to list the new stuff now. Oh, I just got, looks like lipstick on my hands because it was stuck on the side of these glasses. Now, I picked up two pairs of sunglasses, and there's a story behind these two because I was playing tennis last Wednesday with some friends of mine, and, uh, I hit the ball, and it hit the one guy right square in the forehead right there, broke his sunglasses. So, I decided to buy him some new ones. So, I found two. And I'll, I might just give him both of them, but one of them has some lipstick on it. So hold on a sec. Let me get my fingers cleaned up. Okay, there we go. Um, good thing I'm close to the kitchen, right? Oh, and I found a wallet. I don't do much with wallet. Well, I did just sell a Toomey wallet. But again, if they're not name brand wallets, I usually don't deal with them. But this one is a Harley Davidson wallet. And I don't know if you can see. It was embossed on the front. And then on the inside, it is mark down here on the bottom and that made in the USA it's very heavy leather too this is one of those that snapshots and you attach your chain to it there so you see those guys with the chains hanging out of their pockets so that it's nobody can run off with it so anyway so I did pick that up just because it's Harley Davidson it's heavy duty it's actually in really good shape even though it's used um it's not falling apart or any rips or tears I went ahead and bought that. Then I also found this fishing reel. This is a fly fishing reel. Still in the box. It's not brand new. It's been used. But it says, The Choice of Presidents. This is a um, Aladdin Laboratories one. It's called Perrin Reels um, from here in Minneapolis. So I believe these are made here. Yep, Minneapolis. Um, by the Aladdin Labs. So... Anyway, so I picked that up, and I still had that M. Gish was the name on it, but I'll see if I can't take that off the top um, so it's not on there. Make it look a little better before I sell it. Or I might send it to my brother. He collects vintage fishing reels. Not that necessarily that kind, but who knows? All right, Mr. Moneybags. That's what his name is. He's a uh, vintage. He's from 1971. And obviously he's a bank, um, and he was made by the Play Pals Plastic Company. Um, so yeah, so I just thought, you know, he's kind of funky looking coming up Halloween. Might somebody might like him for Halloween, but he's a bank money vintage. Good combination, right? Oh, and then I also picked up a whole bunch of paint brushes. Um, that were in there. Again, paintbrushes are expensive, especially the artist brands. Um, and so I, uh, oh, and here's a little, there's a couple of these painting knives too, palette knives. Um, so yeah, so I pick them up if I see them and we use them for different craft projects and I even sold some, some, they were higher in brand. All right, so... Continuing on. Salvador Dali fans. Yes, a Salvador Dali like clock. Um, found this in the bins. It's made in Taiwan. 
still got the battery corroded, so I'll have to take that out. See if we can get it to run. I don't know, but again, because it's electronic, I paid 49 cents for it. So, and there's quite a few of these, um, this Salvador Dali style. Not There's a few of this particular one, but other styles as well. And they seem to sell pretty good. So, um, that was an exciting find. And I did buy, found more electronics this time than I usually do. I don't usually do too much with electronics, but I really like that clock. I found this vintage lamp. I remember these when I was a kid. You know, they fold up into, let's get the cord out of the way, to a little pyramid, and then you can unfold it and use it as a desk lamp. So, great shape. Got the on-off. It's called a Windsor High Intensity Lamps. It's a nice little reading desk for a student lamp or student or something. But uh, I noticed these are selling actually pretty good right now. So that's why I picked that up. Because I'm trying to stay out of the lamp stuff. I got way too many. But that one's small enough, easy to ship, good to go. And then... bought this for our kitchen. It's one of those under cabinet lights. And I thought, my wife and I have been talking about it. So I thought, well got one 50 cents i'll give it a try um this is one that plugs in and then we'll run the cord under there and if it works because this came from ikea if i can't find any more i can always just go to the ikea store and get some more if we like it so there was dual thinking in that one and then i saw this lamp um which i thought was really cute Got the switch on here. It says made in Italy on the bottom. There are, is some paint loss on it, but it's also got a hook so you can hang it on the wall. So it'd be like an old fashioned candle. It should hang on the wall, but it takes a light bulb. So I really have no idea. I did a quick search on, could not find any like it. Um, there's no other information on it. So I don't know, we'll see. I just thought it looked cool. Never saw one like it before, so when you see something you haven't seen before, it's usually a good idea to pick it up, see if it works. And then, this was another thing out of my comfort zone, but I know that the Sony Walkmans tend to do really well. All it was was just the Walkman. There's no cord, there's no headphones. Um, but again, those are easy enough to get for people who are really interested. But these actually do quite well um, when putting them on eBay and whatever, so... So I thought I'd pick it up and try it, see what happens. I'll just put it out there as is, not doing anything else with it. Um, so that was basically what I got at the outlet store. I paid $11 for all the stuff I got at the outlet store, which is one of my lower weeks, which probably is a good thing considering how much I spent at the other Goodwill store. Then I went to another Goodwill store and I found this poster. Um, this particular one is by Tommy DiPaolo. Uh, he designed it. Now, this is in support of the children's theater. And it says, imagine your child with nothing to imagine. So they're promoting the children's theater using their imaginations. Um, and it's dated 1983, so it's a vintage poster. Tommy DiPaolo does fairly well, um, especially his prints. And the ones I looked up are, you know... 50 to $100, and I didn't see any of this particular one. Um, it's probably a rare print because it's a, had a specific purpose as opposed to a general. He did a lot of book illustrations and stuff like that, so that's what he's known for. Um, and it was in a plastic poster frame, uh, which was all scratched and mucked up, so I took it out of there. It does have a few condition issues, a little bit of wrinkling, um, from just years of being in the frame and having the weight press on it. Um, but it's still, the image itself is not faded, does not appear to be faded at all. It looks really good. So I think that should do fairly well, along with if I ever get it listed and up for sale. <laughs> so anyway, that is pretty much what we got today. I did get one other cabinet just for storage, a little plastic Rubbermaid cabinet that I... I'm going to use to help store all my shipping supplies and stuff like that in my office. 
But anyway, that's what we found on a fine Monday out shopping. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, we will catch you the next time. Bye.